Here are the others ideas. Let's have a look. Wow, that's quite a lot. And we have to include all of that in around 350 words? Yeah, let's better get started. So this is my idea for an introduction. Back in 1989, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, a software engineer at CERN in Switzerland, was just starting a project that was focused and efficient information management, initially called MESH. The system soon became so successful within the company that in 1993 it was renamed as World Wide Web and allowed to be used freely by the public. Over the last couple of decades there have been numerous revolutionary innovations in the digital sphere, including email, social networks and the development of search engines as the most important. Writing an introduction to an essay can often be difficult. It should illustrate what the essay is about, mention the main points, and at the same time make potential readers want to continue reading it. In her introduction, Lena started with some basic information on the history of the Internet. In the final sentence of the introduction, she wrote the thesis statement, which mentions the points that are going to be discussed in the mail. These are email, social networks, and search engines. Essays should also avoid contractions, which are, for example, used in informal emails. Sounds really good. I think it's perfect, actually. Here are my ideas for the first paragraph. Although it started as a simple communication tool, email has considerably changed the way we exchange information. Unlike a normal mail, its electronic counterpart is not restricted to time and space. This means that once a message is sent, it can be received at almost every point on Earth within seconds. And, as a result, 144 billion emails are sent every day. Furthermore, email does not cost anything these days and can be used by everyone with an internet access, since only an address and a subject for the message are required. One does not have to be a computer programmer to use it. Very often, Essays are split into five paragraphs, an introduction at the start, a body of three paragraphs, one for each argument, and a conclusion at the end. For the first paragraph, in the body of the text, Sarah focused on emails. In the paragraph, the first sentence is especially important. This sentence is called the topic sentence, and it tells the reader what they can expect in this paragraph. However, it does not start with, this paragraph is about, the paragraph then goes on to present details or give examples and maybe link to the next paragraph. In general, paragraphs are five to seven sentences long and about one specific topic. For every new topic, there is a new dedicated paragraph. After every paragraph, there should be an empty line to also visually indicate a new paragraph. Excellent! The others have also sent us their paragraphs. Okay, paste them in and let's see how it looks. Another important development in recent years are social networks, because they connect people on an even more sophisticated level than email. First, they give users the chance to create profiles, which include pictures and other personal information. Secondly, they help people to stay in touch with friends by offering status updates and news about a person. If someone gets married, and posts about it, social networks such as Facebook highlight these events for others to notice. In addition to that, these networks enable people to connect with friends they might not have seen for years or who now live in another country. Finally, the internet provides instant access to information. Search engines like Google are capable of searching for over 8 billion websites within seconds. With this easy access to information, Libraries do not have to be visited as often as they used to be. However, it's not only academic information that can be found on the internet. It can also be useful in everyday life. When going on holiday, for example, search engines help to find and compare hotels. 
As a matter of fact, smartphones even have integrated search tools and can find restaurants near us or provide information on the weather forecast. For the individual paragraphs, several markers can be used to help with structure. First, firstly, or first of all, are used for the first argument. The second paragraph often starts with secondly or another point. The final argument and third paragraph often begin with finally or thirdly. There are of course many more innovations on the internet which have happened in the last decade. Nevertheless, email, social networks and powerful search engines are the ones that have had the biggest impact on the internet over the last 25 years. Not only do most of us use these innovations every day, but also they have completely changed the way we connect with the people around us. Writing a conclusion can also be difficult, as you should try not to repeat what you have said before. Mention the most important arguments to make your point or provide a future outlook. Music